Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach from electricalexamcoach.com. Today we're going to learn about the general lighting demand factor, and that includes our three VAs per square foot and our 4,500 VAs for our two small appliances and one laundry circuits. And we're going to learn how to do the demand factor. The reason I haven't showed it to you yet is because it's a little more complicated at face value. And when we first started this journey together, we didn't know what a demand factor was, so we had to learn that. Now that we're a pro at using them, and we know that it's just a multiplier, we can do this little bit more complicated one, and then we'll be ready to do our whole house load calculation. We're going to head to table 220.45 for this. And when we get there, first thing we're going to do is read our table and make sure that we're in the right table. It says lighting load demand factors. I feel good about it. Now, looking at the table, we read all of our tables from top to bottom, left to right, using our black bold headings to navigate the table. On the left-hand side of the table is our type of location. You'll notice dwelling units, hotels and motels, warehouses and storage, and then a very important one down here at the bottom that says all other locations. So unless it's one of these locations listed above, it does not count, and you'll see what I mean in just a moment. Up here at dwelling units, dwelling units are the only one on this list that includes the receptacles as well. Everything else in this is just for lighting only. Across the top here, we're going to see the portion of VAs that our demand factor applies to, and we're going to see our demand factor and again that important symbol of percentage. This is a demand factor in percentage, meaning that it's a multiplier. Now, let's break down how to do the demand factor. When looking at this table, we're going to see a multi-layer demand factor for dwelling units. Step one, we're going to take the first 3,000 VAs at 100%. Step two, we're going to take in between 3,001 through 120, which is technically just another 117,000 more. And that's how I'm going to refer to it for the rest of the program. We're going to take that percentage at 35%, and then we're going to take anything above and beyond that at 25%. Then step three, we add them back together. We take the original 3,000 that we set to the side. Then we're going to take that new reduced load, add those two together, and that's going to give us our total load. What is the total general lighting load you would calculate for a 1,600 square foot home, including the small appliance circuits and the laundry circuit in a dwelling unit after demand factors? In this question, I went ahead and stated that there are two small appliance and one laundry circuits in the dwelling unit. From now on, I'm not going to state it anymore for the questions, because on your examination, they're not going to state it either. You just have to know, anytime you're calculating the total general lighting, or you're doing a whole home load calculation, that you have to include the two small appliance and one laundry circuit, which equals our 4,500 VAs. Step one, we're going to find our total connected load. We take our 1,600 square feet, multiplied by three VAs per square foot, and that's going to give us 4,800 square foot VAs. Now we tack on our 4,500 for our two small appliance and one laundry circuits. That gives us a total of 9,300. Now we check for demand factors. We head over to table 220.45 and step one, we're going to set 3,000 to the side because we need to take 3,000 at 100%. In step two, we're going to take that remainder and multiply it by 0 0.35. Next, we're going to total those two back together and we're going to select D. Great job. What is the total general lighting load you would calculate for a 1,200 square foot dwelling unit? Notice that I took out all the pointers that we had in the previous slide. Anytime it asks for the total, you're always going to be applying a demand factor if there is one. And in every one of these type calculations, you're going to have the two small appliance and one laundry circuits. Step one, find the total connected load. We're going to take our 1,200 square feet multiplied by three VAs per square foot, and that's going to give us 3,600 square foot VAs. Now we have to tack on our 4,500 for our two small appliance and one laundry circuit. 3,600 plus 4,500 equals 8,100. Now we check for demand factors. We head to table 220.42. Step one, we're going to minus 3,000 and take it at 100%. Step two, we're going to multiply that by 0.35. All we have to do now is add them back together, and we end up with a new reduced load of 4,785 VAs, and we select A. Great job. 
That's the end of lesson 4.2. You can head over to electricalexamcoach.com to unlock all the quizzes, flashcards, and everything else that comes with the pro version. I offer my coaching 100% for free. All you have to do is email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.